The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam has come close to becoming World Heavyweight Champion on a couple of occasions, but he never got it done. One time thanks to Ric Flair and a sledgehammer. I remember that vividly. Uh, close, but no cigar, Cole. But I have a feeling that tonight, Rob Van Dam is going to be smoking a big cigar. This may be RVD's night. This is Shawn Michaels' first title defense since winning the World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. Yeah, this match should include Chris Jericho, and it would have if it wasn't for Scott Steiner. I thought you'd bring that up. You've become one big Chris Jericho butt kisser, I gotta tell you. What? Shawn Michaels had the will to win at Survivor Series. He had the belief that he could reach down into his soul and pull it off and beat anybody in that ring with him. And that's exactly what he did. He beat five other men. Yeah, but you have to admit, Cole, he had an advantage. He didn't have to enter that elimination chamber until very late in the match. He got to sit back and watch a lot of those guys literally beat the hell out of each other. Including Rob Van Dam, who was in that match from the get-go. that after all that time away, Shawn Michaels was able to outlast five other superstars in the Elimination Chamber to become World Heavyweight Champion. And those superstars, King, of course, being Chris Jericho, Booker T, Kane, Triple H, and the man in the ring with him right now, Rob Van Dam. And he reversed it! Good move there! And he hits the drop kick. What impact. Oh, there it is! Rob Van Dam continues to punish his opponent. Well, going to the top, high risk! Watch out! Extra slow getting back to his base here. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. And ladies and gentlemen, that was vintage Michaels. 
We talk a lot about Rob Van Dam's educated feet. But let's not forget Shawn Michaels has educated feet of his own with his sweet chin music. And that move has stopped some of the biggest names in our industry in their tracks, including Bret Hart, Chris Jericho, and Triple H. Well, I have to admit, this is a match I never thought I'd see, ever! It's a dream match, King. It's almost like a fantasy. I don't think anybody ever thought they'd see Shawn Michaels versus Rob Van Dam in 2002. Yeah, I, like many others, just assumed March 1998 marked the end of Shawn Michaels' story career. I guess you can never count HBK out. Rob Van Dam won a triple threat match here live last week to become the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Booker T and Chris Jericho were the other two men in that match. And let's not forget Christian and Scott Steiner interjected themselves into the match. It was pure chaos. But when the smoke cleared, it was Rob Van Dam who walked away with tonight's title opportunity. Rob Van Dam is no stranger to championship goal, particularly in ECW, where he was two-time tag team champion and the organization's longest reigning television champion. I must admit, Kang, I'm shocked to hear you give credibility to anything related to ECW. Oh, it's still extremely crappy wrestling, but there are some good things that came from it, and one of them is in the ring right now. Hey, let's not forget Rob Van Dam has quite a WWE resume as well. He's a former European champion, hardcore champion, and of course, Intercontinental Champion. Look, Rob Van Dam. He looks like he's got this. Oh my, what a move! Shawn Michaels has to be protective of his lower back. It'll never be the same following his well-documented back surgery. And oh, watch out. What's he gonna do here? Bam! Big forearm off the run from HBK. And a kip up by Shawn Michaels. And Michaels is feeling it. Shawn Michaels is feeling it. Sweet chin music time. Tuning up the band. Here it comes. And now RVD ducks the sweet chin music and hits with his own. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. This could be huge! Shawn Michaels gets out of that one. Nice move. That's a nasty gash on Rob Van Dam. The pin broke it easily. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars will give everything they have to win here tonight. Well, that's only after then undisputed WWE champion Brock Lesnar became exclusive property of SmackDown. You know, when you think about it, Bischoff had no choice but to introduce the World Heavyweight Championship. And upon awarding the title to Triple H, Bischoff had some pretty flattering words for the game, claiming that if he had Rob Van Dam, whoa! Five star frog splash to the back of Shawn Michaels. Can Van Dam capitalize? All he's got to do is turn HBK over, and this should be it. Here we go. Van Dam into the cover, hooks the leg. Who the heck? Hey! Triple H! What's Triple he doing? H is here. Look out! Ruining this title match with a pedigree to Van Dam. Yeah, but you gotta know, this is not about Rob Van Dam. This is the vindictive Triple H going against O, oh. going after Shawn Michaels. Yeah, Triple H that has been obsessed with the heartbreak kid. Oh, now wait a minute, put that down. What? Oh, this is not gonna be good. The game with that steel chair in the ring. And look at the way he's eyeing Shawn Michaels. He despises Shawn Michaels. He will not stop at anything until he ends Shawn Michaels' career. Shawn is down and out here. Oh wait, look at this! Michaels firing back, big right hand to Triple H. Oh, right back to the midsection for the game. And now the game, hammering away on Michaels. This is turning into a brawl here. 
And Michael's never given up, King. He's got the heart. He's got the guts. He's got the soul of a champion. Shawn Michaels just will not quit. But wait a minute. Look at how he right, right through the chair. Oh. When is this going to end?